Contrary to popular belief, Jackie Gleason's nickname, The Great One, did not solely stem from his successful sitcom and comedy career. In fact, his private life and struggles played a significant role in shaping his reputation. From his bedroom behavior to his personal battles, there's more to this classic star than meets the eye. Stay tuned to learn about the man behind the legend and how his complex persona left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Jackie Gleason's childhood was marked by tragedy and loss. Born in Brooklyn in 1915, he was the youngest of two boys in a family that struggled financially. In 1919, when Jackie was just four years old, his older brother Clement passed away from meningitis. This left Jackie as an only child, and he was deeply affected by the loss of his sibling. As if the death of his brother wasn't enough, Jackie's father abandoned the family in 1925. He quit his job and discarded all family photos before leaving, leaving Jackie's mother to raise him on her own. This abandonment had a profound impact on Jackie, and he struggled to come to terms with it throughout his life. Despite the challenges he faced in his childhood, Jackie went on to become a successful musician, actor, and comedian. His work in the music department brought joy to countless people, and his film and television appearances are still cherished by audiences today. Throughout his career, Jackie drew on his experiences from his childhood to inform his art. His difficult upbringing gave him a unique perspective that he was able to channel into his work, creating a body of work that is both complex and enduring. Though he faced many obstacles in his life, Jackie never let them hold him back. He persevered in the face of adversity, and his contributions to the world of entertainment will always be remembered. Though he is no longer with us, his legacy lies on in the classic films and shows that he left behind. In many ways, Jackie's life is a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. Despite the hardships he faced, he was able to build a successful career and leave a lasting impact on the world. His story is a reminder that even in the face of tragedy and loss, it is possible to overcome and thrive. Jackie Gleason's mother faced significant financial struggles, working tirelessly to support her family. From a young age, Jackie found solace in performing and pursuing his interest in entertainment. At the age of 19, he began working as a master of ceremonies and performing jokes at local venues. Despite her best efforts, Jackie's mother's health began to decline. In 1935, Jackie attempted to lance a boil on her neck, but unfortunately, she developed sepsis and passed away. This tragic event had a profound impact on Jackie and shaped his future in the entertainment industry. Throughout his career, Jackie's work reflected his mother's resilience and determination. He often drew inspiration from his own experiences and channeled his emotions into his performances. The music department Jackie Gleason became known for its raw and authentic portrayals of everyday life, resonating with audiences and leaving a lasting impact on the world of entertainment. Jackie Gleason first gained attention in New York's Club 18, where he developed a brassy persona that quickly made him a popular figure. His lively performances caught the eye of Jack Warner, head of Warner Brothers, who offered him a contract. This opportunity provided Gleason with financial stability and allowed him to focus on his craft. However, with this newfound success came a lavish lifestyle. Gleason became a heavy drinker and spender, often throwing extravagant parties and living beyond his means. This excessive lifestyle led to personal and financial instability, causing problems both on and off the set. Despite these challenges, Gleason's talent and charisma continued to shine through in his work. His brassy persona and larger-than-life personality became his trademark, endearing him to audiences and making him a beloved figure in the world of entertainment. Through it all, Gleason remained committed to his craft, always striving to deliver the best possible performance. His dedication and talent earned him a place in the annals of entertainment history, where he will always be remembered as a true original. In the end, Jackie Gleason's legacy is one of talent, hard work, and a larger-than-life personality that continues to captivate audiences to this day. His contributions to the world of entertainment are immeasurable, and his impact can still be felt in the classic films and shows that he left behind. Jackie Gleason, a man known for his work in the music department, fell in love with dancer Genevieve Halford. However, their relationship was not an easy one. Genevieve, not wanting to settle down too quickly, dated other men to pressure Jackie into marrying her. This tactic worked, and the two married in 1936. 
their marriage was tumultuous, filled with multiple separations. Despite their issues, the two remained married until Genevieve's death in 1975. It's said that Jackie never fully got over her passing. Throughout their marriage, Jackie continued to work in the music department, creating classic after classic. However, his personal life was far from smooth sailing. The strain of his tumultuous relationship with Genevieve often showed in his work, adding a layer of depth and emotion to his music. Despite the challenges they faced, Jackie and Genevieve's relationship was a significant one. It's clear that Genevieve had a profound impact on Jackie's life, both personally and professionally. Even after their separations, the two remained connected, bound by their shared history and love. In the end, Jackie and Genevieve's relationship was a complex and nuanced one, filled with love, tension, and everything in between. It's a testament to the power of human connection, even in the face of adversity. In 1941, the music department, known as Jackie Gleason, experienced a significant life event when his first daughter was born. This addition to the family, however, led to a separation between him and his partner. Despite the split, they reconciled for a brief period. Unfortunately, their reconciliation was short-lived, and they eventually parted ways again. During this time, the music department became a father for the second time. Despite the challenges in his personal life, he continued to work in the entertainment industry. In the 1950s, the music department hosted the popular variety show, Cavalcade of Stars. This show was a significant success and led to the creation of the Jackie Gleason Show. The music department's charisma and talent were on full display in these shows, which showcased his comedic timing and musical abilities. The creation of these shows not only brought joy to audiences, but also solidified the music department's place in television history. Throughout his career, the music department faced personal struggles, but he continued to create and entertain. His shows, including Cavalcade of Stars and The Jackie Gleason Show, brought laughter and music to millions of viewers. The music department's impact on the entertainment industry is still felt today, and his shows remain classic examples of early television variety shows. The music department Jackie Gleason was a sensation, captivating audiences with its unique blend of comedy and music. However, behind the scenes, Jackie's personal life was far from perfect. His marriage to Genevieve continued to deteriorate, despite the success of the show. In 1951, they separated once again, leaving Jackie to face an uncertain future. It wasn't long before Jackie began dating Honey Merrill, a beautiful and talented dancer who had caught his eye. But even as he tried to move on from his failed marriage, Jackie couldn't shake the feeling that something was missing from his life. That's when he met Marilyn Taylor, a young and ambitious dancer who was part of the June Taylor Dancers. Jackie was immediately drawn to Marilyn's energy and enthusiasm, and the two quickly began an affair. Despite the fact that Marilyn was many years his junior, Jackie found himself falling deeply in love with her. As the affair continued, Jackie became more and more distant from his wife and children. He spent long hours at the studio, working on the show, and rehearsing with the dancers. And even when he was at home, his mind was often elsewhere, lost in thoughts of Marilyn. Despite the challenges and heartache that came with his personal life, Jackie remained committed to his work. He poured his heart and soul into the music department, creating a show that would become a classic of its time. And even as his marriage crumbled around him, Jackie found solace in the music and laughter that he brought to millions of people around the world. The music department Jackie Gleason faced a significant turning point in his personal life when Genevieve, his wife, discovered his affair with Marilyn during a hospital visit. This incident led to Genevieve filing for separation in 1954, marking the end of a tumultuous relationship. However, despite the turmoil in his personal life, the music department's career continued to soar. In 1955, The Honeymooners became a successful standalone series, further elevating Jackie's fame. This classic show, which originated as a sketch on the Dumont Network's Cavalcade of Stars, had already gained popularity for its humorous portrayal of married life. As the show became a separate entity, it allowed the music department to delve deeper into the characters of Ralph Cramden and his friends, Ed Norton, Alice Cramden, and Trixie Norton. The show's success was a testament to Jackie's ability to connect with audiences and his knack for creating memorable characters. The Honeymooners standalone series was a significant milestone in Jackie's career, solidifying his place as a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. 
despite the challenges he faced in his personal life. The music department continued to captivate audiences with his unique blend of humor and heart. Jackie Gleason, the music department, was known for his refusal to rehearse, relying instead on his remarkable photographic memory. This unconventional approach often caused tension on set, as his castmates struggled to keep up with his spontaneous performance style. Audrey Meadows, who played Alice Cramden, found it particularly challenging to work with Jackie's lack of rehearsal. She often felt unprepared and overwhelmed, as she never knew what to expect from her scene partner. Despite these challenges, Audrey remained professional and dedicated to her craft, delivering a memorable and iconic performance as Alice. Adding to the tension on set, Jackie was also known for his jealousy of Art Carney, who played Ed Norton. Despite Art's incredible talent and comedic timing, Jackie often undermined his performance, feeling threatened by his success. This jealousy created a difficult and uncomfortable working environment, as Jackie's insecurities often overshadowed the joy and camaraderie of making this classic show. Despite these challenges, the music department remains a beloved and enduring piece of television history. Its impact and influence can still be felt today as new generations discover its timeless humor and unforgettable characters. And while the making of this show was not without its difficulties, the end result remains a testament to the talent and dedication of all those involved. Jackie Gleason, known for his control over the honeymooners, had a significant impact on casting decisions. His concerns for maintaining quality led to the show's early end after just one season of 39 episodes. Following the Honeymooners, Gleason returned to his variety show, but it failed to regain its previous success. Despite his initial success with the variety show, Gleason's return was met with disappointment. The show, once a staple of television, failed to capture audiences in the same way. This decline in popularity could be attributed to various factors, but Gleason's absence during the show's initial run may have played a significant role. As for the Honeymooners, Gleason's control over the show was evident in every aspect, from casting to writing. His insistence on quality led to the show's demise, as he feared that continuing the series would dilute its impact. In the end, Gleason's concerns proved valid, as the show failed to maintain its initial success in subsequent seasons. The music department Jackie Gleason, once a powerhouse of television, faced an unfortunate end. Despite Gleason's best efforts to maintain quality, the Honeymooners' abrupt end, and the failure of his variety show to regain its former success marked a significant turning point in his career. Nevertheless, Gleason's contributions to television and music remain noteworthy, leaving a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. In the 1960s, the music department, once a beloved figure, experienced a decline in his popularity. His television projects failed to resonate with audiences, leading to a struggle in his career. After a long and tumultuous marriage, Genevieve finally granted Jackie a divorce in 1970, bringing an end to their union. The following year, in 1971, the music department found love again and married Beverly McKittrick. However, this marriage was also short-lived and they divorced in 1974. Despite the setbacks in his personal life, the music department continued to leave his mark on the world of music and entertainment. His contributions and impact on this classic art form remained enduring, even as his personal life saw its share of ups and downs. In 1975, the music department, Jackie Gleason, had a heartwarming reunion with Marilyn Taylor. The two had known each other since their early days in show business, and their paths crossed again, leading to a beautiful marriage that lasted until Jackie's passing. A year later, in 1976, Jackie was offered a role in the film Smokey, and The Bandit, which became a significant milestone in his career. The movie showcased his exceptional improvisation skills, contributing to some of its most iconic moments. In Smokey and The Bandit, the music department, Jackie Gleason, played the role of Sheriff Buford T. Justice. His character was known for his comical pursuits of The Bandit, played by Burt Reynolds. During filming, Jackie's improvisation skills shone through, adding a layer of authenticity and humor to the character. One of the most memorable scenes in the film is when Sheriff Justice, played by Jackie, pulls over a car full of newlyweds, thinking they are the bandit and his companion. Jackie improvised the entire scene, creating a hilarious and unforgettable moment that left audiences in stitches. The music department, Jackie Gleason, was known for his ability to think on his feet and ad-lib lines 
making him a valuable asset to any production he worked on. His improvisation skills in Smokey and the Bandit helped make the film a classic, and his performance is still remembered and celebrated today. In conclusion, Jackie Gleason's reunion with Marilyn Taylor and his role in Smokey and the Bandit were significant moments in his career. His improvisation skills contributed to the film's success and solidified his place as a beloved and respected figure in the world of entertainment. In the mid-1970s, Jackie Gleason decided to participate in the sequels of the successful film Smokey and the Bandit. However, the sequels did not achieve the same level of success as the original film and the franchise eventually failed to capture the audience's interest. Despite the setbacks in his film career, Jackie Gleason remained a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. However, by the mid-1980s, the music department's health began to decline due to years of hard living. The film's heavy drinking and smoking habits had taken a toll on his body, and he was often plagued by health issues. Despite his declining health, Jackie Gleason continued to work in the entertainment industry. He appeared in various TV shows and films, always leaving a lasting impression with his unique comedic style. However, his health continued to deteriorate, and on June 24, 1987, Jackie Gleason passed away at the age of 71. His death was a significant loss to the entertainment industry, and he was deeply mourned by his fans and colleagues. Jackie Gleason's legacy continues to live on through his classic films and TV shows, which continue to entertain and inspire audiences to this day. The music department's impact on the entertainment industry is still felt, and his contributions will always be remembered. Jackie Gleason, also known as the Great One, received this nickname from Orson Welles, who was referring to his drinking capacity. However, there was much more to Gleason than just his drinking habits. Gleason's life was marked by a tragic childhood. He never knew his father, and his mother abandoned him when he was just a toddler. He was raised by his grandmother in Brooklyn, New York. Despite these hardships, Gleason found solace in music and entertainment. As he grew older, Gleason's relationships became tumultuous. He was married and divorced several times, and he struggled with alcoholism throughout his life. However, he always managed to bounce back and continue his successful career in the entertainment industry. Gleason's lasting TV legacy is undeniable. He starred in several classic shows, including The Honeymooners and The Jackie Gleason Show. His unique comedic style and larger-than-life personality made him a beloved figure in American television. In addition to his work in television, Gleason was also a talented musician. He played several instruments, including the piano and the saxophone. He even released several albums of big band music. Despite his personal struggles, Gleason's contributions to the entertainment industry will always be remembered. His nickname, The Great One, was well-deserved, not just for his drinking capacity, but for his talent, charisma, and lasting impact on American culture. Born in Brooklyn, New York, on February 26, 1916, Jackie Gleason grew up in a large Irish Catholic family. The youngest of three children, he had two older sisters. His father, Herbert, was a machinist, and his mother, me, a homemaker. Despite their modest means, Gleason's parents encouraged his creative pursuits from an early age. Gleason's first exposure to entertainment came from vaudeville shows, which he attended with his family. He was captivated by the performer's ability to make people laugh and dreamed of one day joining their ranks. As a teenager, he began performing in local talent shows and quickly gained a reputation as a talented comedian and impressionist. One of Gleason's earliest mentors was the comedian and film star Joe E. Lewis. Lewis took Gleason under his wing and taught him the ins and outs of the entertainment business. Gleason credited Lewis with helping him develop his unique comedic style and stage presence. Another significant influence on Gleason's career was the legendary band leader, Ray Block. In the 1930s, Gleason began working as a master of ceremonies and singer in Block's orchestra. This experience exposed him to the world of big band music and gave him the opportunity to hone his skills as an MC. Gleason's love of music also led him to pursue a career as a big band leader and musician. He formed his own orchestra in the 1940s and began performing in clubs and theaters around the country. His music was influenced by a variety of genres, including jazz, swing, and classical. Throughout his career, Gleason remained deeply committed to his craft and continued to push the boundaries of comedy and music. He was a true innovator 
known for his ability to make people laugh and move them with his music. His legacy continues to inspire new generations of performers and audiences alike. Ever since Jackie Gleason was a young boy, he found himself drawn to the world of entertainment. He would often put on shows for his family, impersonating famous actors and comedians. His aunt, who recognized his talent, encouraged him to pursue a career in show business. At the age of 16, Jackie dropped out of school to focus on his passion. He started performing in local nightclubs and soon caught the attention of a talent scout. This led to his first break in radio, where he worked as a comedian and writer. But it was his discovery of music that truly ignited Jackie's creativity. He was fascinated by the way music could evoke emotions and tell stories. He began to experiment with different instruments and compositions, often staying up late into the night to work on his craft. One pivotal moment in Jackie's musical journey came when he was introduced to the works of Tchaikovsky. He was deeply moved by the Russian composer's ability to create sweeping melodies and powerful harmonies. This inspired Jackie to start composing his own music, blending classical elements with jazz and blues. Despite facing numerous rejections and setbacks, Jackie never gave up on his dream. He continued to hone his skills and push the boundaries of what was possible in music. His perseverance paid off, and he eventually became one of the most respected and beloved figures in the industry. To this day, Jackie Gleason's music continues to inspire and captivate audiences around the world. His passion for his craft shines through in every note, reminding us all of the power of creativity and the human spirit. Despite facing significant challenges, Jackie Gleason's passion for music drove him to overcome numerous obstacles. Born in 1916 in Brooklyn, New York, Gleason grew up in a low-income family, which made it difficult for him to pursue his dreams. However, he remained determined and found creative ways to learn music. As a young man, Gleason worked various odd jobs to support himself while taking music lessons. He practiced tirelessly, often playing until his fingers bled. Eventually, he saved enough money to buy his own piano, which he kept in a tiny apartment he shared with roommates. Despite his dedication, Gleason faced skepticism from the music industry. Many people doubted his ability to succeed as a musician due to his humble beginnings. However, Gleason refused to let this discourage him. He continued to hone his skills and seek out opportunities to perform. Gleason's big break came when he was discovered by a talent scout while playing in a local bar. The scout was impressed by Gleason's talent and offered him a chance to perform on a national stage. Gleason seized the opportunity and quickly gained a reputation as a talented and innovative musician. Throughout his career, Gleason faced numerous challenges, including financial struggles and industry skepticism. However, he remained resilient and continued to push the boundaries of what was possible in the world of music. His determination and creativity allowed him to overcome these obstacles and leave a lasting impact on the industry. After years of honing his skills in comedy and acting, Jackie Gleason experienced a breakthrough moment in 1949 when he was offered the role of Ralph Cramden in the TV show The Honeymooners. His portrayal of the lovable but often frustrated bus driver resonated with audiences and cemented his place as a household name. In the 1950s, Gleason expanded his career to include music, releasing several successful albums, and earning a Grammy nomination for his 1955 album Music for Lovers Only. Critics praised Gleason for his smooth, velvety voice and his ability to infuse emotion into his performances. Gleason's career reached new heights in 1962 with the release of the film Jigga, which he wrote, directed, and starred in. The film, which follows the story of a mute janitor who befriends a group of street urchins, was a critical success and showcased Gleason's range as a serious actor. Despite facing personal and professional challenges in the following decades, Gleason continued to leave a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. In 1978, he was awarded the prestigious Kennedy Center honor for his contributions to American culture. According to comedian and actor Jerry Lewis, who worked with Gleason on several occasions, Jackie Gleason was a true original. He had a unique talent for making people laugh, but he could also break your heart with a single look. Television critic Tom Shales echoed this sentiment, writing, Gleason's ability to seamlessly transition between comedy and drama was unparalleled. He was a true master of his craft. Gleason's breakthrough moments in music and acting not only solidified his place in entertainment history, 
but also paved the way for future performers to explore their own range and versatility. Jackie Gleason, a man of many talents, left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Known for his work in television and film, Gleason also had a successful career as a musician and band leader. His love for music started at a young age, and he would often spend hours listening to jazz records in his room. As a musician, Gleason approached his work with a unique style that combined elements of jazz, big band, and easy listening. He had a deep appreciation for the blues and often incorporated it into his compositions. His music was known for its lush orchestrations, memorable melodies, and a certain emotional depth that resonated with listeners. Gleason's personal experiences and worldview were also reflected in his music. He grew up during the Great Depression, which had a profound impact on his outlook on life. This is evident in his compositions, which often convey a sense of longing, nostalgia, and hope. Despite the challenges he faced in his early life, Gleason remained an optimistic and resilient individual, which is reflected in the upbeat and uplifting tone of his music. One of the unique aspects of Gleason's approach to music was his ability to connect with his audience on an emotional level. He had a knack for creating music that spoke to the heart and soul, and his compositions had a way of touching people in a deeply personal way. Whether it was a slow, romantic ballad or an up-tempo swing number, Gleason's music had a certain magic that captured the imagination of listeners. Another defining characteristic of Gleason's musical style was his use of orchestration. He was a master at creating rich, layered arrangements that featured a wide range of instruments, from strings and woodwinds to brass and percussion. This gave his music a depth and complexity that set it apart from the work of other musicians and composers. In conclusion, Jackie Gleason's approach to music was characterized by his unique style, emotional depth, and masterful use of orchestration. His personal experiences and worldview were also reflected in his compositions, giving them a sense of authenticity and depth that resonated with listeners. Whether you're a fan of jazz, big band, or easy listening, Gleason's music is sure to leave a lasting impression. Jackie Gleason, a man of many talents, left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Known for his work in television and film, Gleason also made significant contributions to the music world. As a band leader and composer, he introduced a unique blend of big band and lounge music that became his signature sound. Gleason's music was a reflection of his personality sophisticated yet approachable. He had a knack for creating memorable melodies that were both catchy and relaxing. His music became popular in the 1950s and 1960s, a time when America was experiencing a post-war boom and people were looking for ways to unwind. One of Gleason's most significant contributions to the music industry was his creation of the Miami Sound. This style of music was a fusion of big band, Latin, and jazz, and it became hugely popular in the 1960s. Gleason's use of lush orchestrations and his incorporation of Latin rhythms created a sound that was both sophisticated and danceable. Gleason's music has influenced many artists over the years. Jazz trumpeter Chris Body cites Gleason as a significant influence, saying, Jackie Gleason's music was the soundtrack to my childhood. His use of lush orchestrations and his incorporation of Latin rhythms created a sound that was both sophisticated and accessible. Gleason's music has also been used in film and television. His composition Melancholy Serenade was used as the theme music for the television show The Honeymooners, which Gleason starred in and produced. The song has since become synonymous with the show and is still widely recognized today. In addition to his work as a musician, Gleason was also a talented actor and comedian. He starred in several films, including The Hustler and Requiem for a Heavyweight, and was known for his distinctive laugh and physical comedy. Despite his many accomplishments, Gleason remained humble and approachable throughout his career. He once said, I've always believed that if you're successful in this business, it's because you've touched a nerve. You've established a rapport with your audience. In conclusion, Jackie Gleason's contributions to the music industry were significant and enduring. His creation of the Miami Sound and his use of lush orchestrations and Latin rhythms created a unique style of music that has influenced many artists over the years. Gleason's music remains popular today and continues to resonate with audiences around the world. Jackie Gleason, a man of many talents, had a deep love for music that extended beyond his professional sphere. He was an accomplished accordion player, often playing in his spare time. 
This passion for music greatly influenced his work as he composed and arranged music for his own television shows. Gleason was also known for his philanthropic efforts. He was particularly passionate about helping children in need. In 1967, he established the Jackie Gleason Career and Recreation Center in Miami, Florida, which provided vocational training and recreational activities for underprivileged youth. The center was a testament to Gleason's belief in the power of education and recreation to transform lives. In addition to his work with the Career and Recreation Center, Gleason was also a generous supporter of the Miami Children's Hospital. He often visited the hospital, bringing joy and laughter to the children there. His philanthropic efforts were a reflection of his personal values, as he believed in the importance of giving back to the community and helping those in need. Gleason's love for music and his commitment to helping others were integral parts of his life outside of the spotlight. These passions not only brought him joy, but also inspired his work and led him to make a positive impact on the lives of many. Jackie Gleason, a man of many talents, left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. As a gifted musician, he conducted and arranged music for his popular variety show, The Jackie Gleason Show. His innovative approach to blending big band and jazz created a unique sound that continues to resonate today. Although Gleason's television career took center stage, his passion for music never wavered. He recorded several albums throughout his career, showcasing his skills as a trombonist and vocalist. His music transcended genres and generations, making him a beloved figure in the industry. For aspiring musicians, Gleason offered this advice, always stay true to yourself and your art. Don't be afraid to take risks and push boundaries. And most importantly, never give up on your dreams. Looking to the future, Gleason's legacy continues to inspire and influence new generations of musicians. As technology advances and the music industry evolves, there are countless opportunities for aspiring professionals to make their mark. One area where Gleason's influence can be seen is in the fusion of different musical styles. Just as he blended big band and jazz, today's musicians are experimenting with unique combinations of genres to create fresh, innovative sounds. Another area where Gleason's legacy lies on is in the importance of live performances. While recorded music remains popular, there is nothing quite like the energy and excitement of a live show. Gleason's variety show was a testament to the power of live entertainment, and today's musicians can learn from his example. In terms of future contributions, aspiring musicians can honor Gleason's legacy by continuing to push the boundaries of what is possible in music. Whether it's through innovative recording techniques, groundbreaking live performances, or the fusion of different styles, there are countless ways to make a lasting impact on the industry. In conclusion, Jackie Gleason's legacy as a musician is a testament to the power of creativity, passion, and innovation. His influence can still be seen in the industry today, and there are countless opportunities for aspiring professionals to make their mark. By staying true to themselves and their art, taking risks, and pushing boundaries, today's musicians can carry on Gleason's legacy and create a bright future for the industry. Jackie Gleason's journey in the music department was a testament to his boundless passion and innovative spirit. Born in 1916, he began his career as a musician, quickly making a name for himself with his unique style and infectious energy. Despite facing numerous setbacks and challenges, Gleason never lost sight of his dreams, constantly pushing the boundaries of what was possible in the entertainment industry. Throughout his career, Gleason composed and arranged music for countless films and television shows, leaving an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. His work resonated with audiences of all ages, inspiring generations of musicians and artists to follow in his footsteps. What made Gleason truly remarkable, however, was not just his musical talent, but his unwavering perseverance and creativity. He approached every project with a sense of wonder and curiosity, always eager to explore new ideas and push himself to new heights. Gleason's impact on the entertainment industry cannot be overstated. He helped to shape the sound and style of an entire generation, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire and captivate audiences to this day. As we look back on Gleason's incredible journey, we are reminded of the power of creativity and perseverance. With passion, hard work, and a little bit of innovation, anyone can leave their mark on the world and make a difference in the lives of others. So let us all take a page from Jackie Gleason's playbook and embrace our own creative potential 
knowing that with dedication and determination, we too can make a lasting impact on the world around us. Let's take a moment to appreciate the work of Jackie Gleason, a true legend in the music department. His compositions have left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. Gleason was not just a musician, but also a talented comedian and actor. His versatility allowed him to excel in multiple areas of entertainment. His music, in particular, showcased his ability to create captivating melodies that resonate with listeners even today. Throughout his career, Gleason composed music for various films and television shows. His compositions were known for their ability to evoke emotion and set the tone for the scenes they accompanied. One of his most notable works is the theme music for The Honeymooners, a classic television show that still entertains audiences today. The upbeat and playful tune perfectly encapsulates the show's comedic spirit. As we reflect on Gleason's legacy, it's clear that his work has transcended time. His music continues to be celebrated and appreciated by new generations of fans. Now, we'd love to hear from you. What are your thoughts on Jackie Gleason's work and legacy? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this content, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more. Together, let's celebrate the creative spirits that shape entertainment.